Problem number 92. White has just invaded Black's corner with 3-3 three, three here. How should Black continue? Black should block from this way, and the Joseki from here is white to jump here. Black will jump here, preventing white from living on the side, and then white will Hane and connect. And then once black makes shape, now this wall is effectively used by the extensions over here, as well as the wall over here meets with this wall. And so white got completely confined to the corner, and black got a lot of outside influence with extensions already. So this is a really good result for black. If black blocks from the other way, then this Joseki will probably come about. Fairly standard Joseki. Now Black's Moyo at the top here is not as big as it was before. This got a little bit bigger, but White has this endgame later because Black did not come back to fix. We also see that this stone would be better placed here because this makes that uh, Joseki shape. It also means that when White plays this as an endgame move, Black can just ha or Black can just hunt it back, forcing White to connect. Problem number 96. In this situation, White attached here, Black honeyed, and White extended here. How should black continue attacking this group? Black should descend with his stone here, and then white will play the knight's move here, black will attach on the outside, and white will push up and through, and then Atari, and then make shape. Now you'll notice that black got two really nice looking walls, with the exception of this one defect, they're perfect. Um, both facing stones that Black already has, similar to the last problem. And so now that Black has Sente, Black is going to start expanding the Moyo by jumping up. If Black blocks the other way, then when White Hane is, if Black Hane is back, then this is going to go to a very familiar Joseki as well. Except now White is living on the side here and completely destroyed this entire Moyo. These two stones still have a lot of Aji in them. And now this group is going to become under attack because White is now on both sides. If Black just does the similar Joseki to the last problem, then white still has this Hani here, and again we wish that this stone would have been low. Problem number 88, white just decided to invade black's sphere of influence over here. How should black attack the stone? Black's move is to make the iron pillar here. This not only secures the corner territory, but also puts this under attack. If white does a one space jump here, then black will make another iron pillar. These two stones are still under attack, and black is securing some nice territory. If after black makes iron pillar here, white decides to jump instead of jumping sideways, then black will peep, making this group heavy, and then attack with a knight's move here. And because of this, now an invasion in here is no longer possible. And these stones that are still under attack will probably need to run to the center this way. If instead of making the iron pillar, black can also kick this stone, once white extends, black will go here preventing white from jumping. After white jumps here then black will descend. And this is also good for black. When black kicks here, after white extends and black takes this move, white also has the option to attach here and this will help white make sabaki. And now this group is a lot stronger than just jumping out. So this result by kicking is not as good as just making the iron pillar for black. Problem number 95, instead of white doing either of these two moves after black makes the iron pillar, white decides to slide all the way over here. So the question for black is how does black attack this group now? Black's move is to shoulder hit the single stone here and if white extends trying to maintain the connection then black will play here. A double Hane or a double Hane looking move. Uh, if white cuts then black will wedge and attire the stone up and then play this move connecting up with this stuff. White will play this Atari, forcing black to connect. But now white is split into these two stones are probably not going to live. These have basically no shape, and these are successfully connected up to here. If instead of doing the shoulder hit, black just sits on it, then when white plays here, black will play here to prevent white from going this way. But then white is now connected, has some decent shape, and black is going to have a hard time killing this group now because it's so stable. Now if white doesn't play this one and instead plays this move, this is not good for white because black is going to poke at this cut immediately and then poke at the cut again and then pull back and again black is now connected and white's position has completely collapsed so white will now have to run again. 
That's why it's important for white to play this move instead of the knight's move. This makes shape a lot easier. Problem number 97, instead of white invading here, white takes the 3-3 directly. How should black respond to this? Black's move is to block from this side, looking to make a wall working with his extensions already here. And then when white plays here, black will Hane. If white Hane is back, black will double Hane. White will take this cut as a free move, forcing black to connect. And then white will play here. Black will block, white will fix. This is Sente against black's stuff, so black needs to respond. And then white will live in the corner with this move. And now black, to finish this Soseki and remove the Aji of this stone, will play here. And now that black is nice and thick over here, black will look forward to aiming at this invasion here. White also has the option after black plays here to extend up, but then black will just play the bamboo joint here, preventing the, the throw in snapback threat. And then when white comes back to fix, then black will kill off the stones with this move. Problem number 119, black has this small knight with a long enclosure here, a five space extension, and white decides to invade here. White has the support of this stone, so how does black respond to white's invasion? Black should do the diagonal, and if white attaches here trying to get some shape and Aji, and Hane is in black Hane's back, then white will make the large knight here, black will jump with it, and if white continues to jump, black is more than happy to do this over and over again. Then after black play, or after white successfully connects, then black will secure the upper territory with this. If now white decides to invade up here, then black can use these peeps as Aji and make a nice thick position sealing white in away from that group. Then when black plays the foot sweep, this stone's gonna die. So this invasion for white after all of these jumps is unreasonable. If instead of the diagonal, black just plays the jump, then white will connect underneath um, and make some sabaki. Um, you've seen this before. Where black lives small on the side and white gets all this outside influence. The stone is really damaged because of it. Similar thing happens when black plays the small knight jump. White will attach on top and black will be forced to capture the stone. And after black captures, white will link up his stones on the side. And now black's nice extension here was completely eaten up and undercut by white's group.